Wasabi, you guys. We are about to use an integration technique that we are not familiar with. Uh, something, well, maybe some of you guys are familiar with this, but I do not have this method covered in any of my integration B series. It's like Olympiad level and also because you rarely ever see this in an actual integration B competition. So, what on earth do we do here? This looks monstrous, right? Don't freak out. I know. It's terrifying. But we're going to do something that might make us a little bit uncomfortable. We're going to do uh, Ahmed substitution. Uh, the way this works is pretty much whenever you have something like... Uh, how do I put this? This here. Let's say we have a function, right? And we have, let's say, a function like this. Uh, I think that's the best way. I'm trying to figure out the best way to generalize this so that it's a lot easier to see this. But pretty much this is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of dt of t square plus and then the function f of x square. Okay? So, don't freak out. I know. This looks very uncomfortable, but we are going to turn this into this, okay? And yes, we will be dealing with multiple integrals. Now, just bear with me. Trust me on this. Just bear with me, okay? This will help us just kind of simplify things a bit. It just, it'll just help us simplify things just a little bit, okay? So... In that case, right, from 0 to 1, we get a function uh, dt uh, dx, and then we have t squared, then plus, what was the function here? Remember, we, we did 1 over f of x, so that means that this is x squared plus 1 over 2x. Okay? Cool. So let me rewrite this. We can definitely rewrite this as x over 2 plus 1 over 2x. All right, nice. Now, I have a, a little sneaky, uh, I have a sneaky intention to do, right? I'm going to flip this, switch the integration, uh, the integration balance, the, I'm going to switch the respect of integration. Okay, we can do this because Fubini says so. And I also like to, let's let u equal x over 2. All right, so what that means is that we get du dt, the bounce doesn't really change, t square, and I'll get u, and then plus 1 over 4u, and I think I'll get the, the du gives me 2, so I have to put a 2du right there, okay? All right, now you're probably thinking, Silver, what on earth are you doing? You're making it worse. No, 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 just trust me. Trust me. Just trust me. Watch this. Okay? Just trust me. My intention is to use Glass's Master Theorem. Okay? So, obviously, this is even. So, I can definitely uh, use this 2 here. To turn it into negative infinity to infinity. And in order for me to use Glass's Master Theorem, this needs to be a minus rather than a plus. So, I'm going to need, let's see, if I, if I express this all out, I get u squared plus um, 1 over 16 u squared 
and then what one half right but then I want minus one half so minus one half plus one half ah so oh that's actually very nice I get plus one u minus one over four u square okay for those if you don't remember glass's master theorem uh, for glass's master theorem okay it doesn't not it doesn't necessarily have to be one over x this is the beginner like the beginner variant pretty much this is what we always usually stick to because it's just cleaner it's just cleaner right but the full the full power of glass's master theorem is literally any sum of whatever uh, precisely like this some x minus a n whatever right it could be anything so literally this would work uh, this with this with well actually no I I probably would not risk oh actually yeah, yeah it would it would work with that. well it would make sense because same uh, but you know things like that right um, this would not work though it has to be real um, but yeah you, and it could even it can even stretch even farther as long as you keep it minus right as long as that's kept minus uh, it will it will still fulfill the the glasses master theorem in this case we can we can still do glasses master theorem so with that you can go ahead and simplify this this is now glasses master theorem or actually I can go ahead use symmetry now now that we know this is this satisfies glasses master theorem you can go ahead du dt this is just simply t squared plus 1 plus u squared very easy right and now look at this this is just super super easy let's see uh, we get t squared plus 1 here right so our arc tangent right we have oh ooh, don't forget the two I almost forgot the two right we did symmetry okay do not don't ever forget that that will that will kill us all uh, but we have this now right inverse tangent of u over t squared plus 1 from 0 to infinity 0 0 uh, infinity here is just pi over 2 ah we have a simple integral now look at this now it's just pi over square root of t squared plus 1 dt awesome right what do we use well I mean if you want to use trig sub you can but as speed integrators we like to keep things simple inverse inch 0 to 1 that's just 0 so our answer is pi times inverse cinch of 1 or what most people are familiar with this is equal to pi times ln of 1 plus root 2 all right very very nice okay so I know that was a little the, the first thing is always intimidating the first thing you know doing Ahmed substitution is like the scariest thing all right trust me no one wants to do that okay it's terrifying it's very terrifying but if you just try it first then notice huh and then you see this oh wait a minute I can turn this into glasses master theorem and then you get this be you get this beauty it simplifies nicely and you get a very clean answer okay right you don't need to do residue theorem or whatever your opponent might do right you can obliterate these people with this trick all right especially with Ahmed substitution glasses master theorem oh the duel oh you are unstoppable bam you have your integral solved all right I hope that helps I hope that was fun and satisfying to watch. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.